This video is how to create a new inventory item. To do that, you're going to click on Maintain, Inventory Item, and you're going to click New. You're going to enter in the item description. You're going to enter in the inventory code. It can be whatever you want. A lot of people use the HixPix code. I don't know what it is. I'm going to make it up. <clears throat> and then if it is an oxygen tank, a service, or serialized, you check those one of those boxes. If it's not, you're going to leave those alone. Then you're going to click Save. And then you can click Pricing. And you can see the videos on adding a pricing level. If I was just doing a one-time sale, I would pick my price code, my sale, put my bill amount, put my allowed amount, put my billing code. Again, I'm making this up. I don't know what it is. Um, modifiers. My document that's required. If I require a document, I'm going to accept assignment. I'm going to bill to insurance. That's a one-time sale that I can bill on day of delivery. If I need to make another price code, I can just click clone, put in my other price code, and save. Where is that? What just say? And when I reload, I'll see my two prices in there. If you are keeping track of your inventory in specific inventory, you can put a model number. That's the, the number that you use to reorder it from the vendor. You could add the manufacturer by clicking on the binoculars and choosing your manufacturer. If they're not there, you can click cancel and click on the white piece of paper to add your manufacturer. You could choose your product type. If the product type was not there, you could, um, let's just do miscellaneous. Um, if you could click on the white piece of paper and add a new one. Barcode type is not used. Barcode is if you're going to use a barcode scanner, you literally go get the product and scan it and it'll put the barcode in there. Predefined text is for ABNs and vendor is who you purchased it from. Again, if your vendor is not there, you can click on the white piece of paper and save. If you're paying your salespeople commission that is not their normal commission, it's a special rate, you can fill in this area here. And the purchase price down here is your cost. You will never, ever, never delete an inventory item. If you no longer carry the inventory item, you're going to make it inactive. If you delete it, it deletes it everywhere in the system, off of every invoice, off of every order, off of all history. So you just want to check inactive. If I do that, it's going to make it red. Okay, you'll see how it's red. That's the one I just added. It's inactive and that one's not. 